kaibigan, nandito kami si Graywell Beats sa Highway 101 dito sa California Time, 5.42, Mendocino winemakers have successfully gotten legislation passed at the state capitol, making it mandatory to put the county's name on wine from the region. As KCBS is making gold, we explains, it's a marketing technique that has been successful in Napa and Sonoma. Call conjunctive labeling. And what it means, says Bernadette Byrne, executive director of the Mendocino Wine Growers, is that in the areas of Mendocino County that have named grape growing regions, the wine will have to not just have 
that name on the label, but also the words Mendocino County. We are very well known as a premier wine growing region, but some of our smaller ADAs are not as well known, and conjunctive labeling helps the consumer have a better understanding of where this wine is coming from. So that a label that may have just said Redwood Valley or Anderson Valley before will now also read south of the University of Virginia, it's the first hip-hop book without by an academic publisher. Steve Futterman, CBS News. 605, the Bay Area's news station, KCBS. A warming trend is underway. We'll be looking at inland temps well into the 90s this week. Good evening, I'm Dan Jason. Florida's workers and family entertainment centers like Bowling Alley is gathering in Santa Rosa today, calling on Sonoma County health leaders to allow them to reopen their businesses. KCBS is Jeffrey Shout. It was a colorful gap of the lack of entertainment for children. It's making kids sad. In Santa Rosa, Jeffrey Shout, KCBS. President Trump, as you heard on CBS News, has announced that he is cured from COVID-19. He says he feels great, that he's immune, and that he's not worried about transmitting it to others. That's raising some red flags. KCBS is the same job with details. The president tweeted that he's immune from the coronavirus, a tweet that Twitter flagged. It was flat because it's misleading. Maybe people might read that and say, well, even if I, if I get the ill, or who are seriously ill, and sick leave so have been on steroids, that that interval should theoretically be extended to 20 days. So, Dr. Ch dedication on the part of Brad going down this is the one wrong way the street. Yeah, yeah, I was like ah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not one way we're fucked man I know <laughs> CBS News Time 630 isn't that this gorgeous? is a critical moment for yeah. corporate America particularly for okay. women that's the oh. message from a go, go take pictures. new There's somebody from McKinsey and Company that's a good as a result one of COVID and the yeah. pressures of working from home the report finds that one in four women are considering taking a step back in their career or oh leaving the workforce entirely <laughs> Hindi makita yung street ng Lombard, pero yan yung famous na Lombard Street ng San Francisco. Matataas yung mga halaman ngayon, so hindi makikita yung street. Thank you. 
No, I'm okay. Thank you. Very, very, very mild. Yeah. Tail and slowing. It's right now just through downtown, but considerably better than it was even 20, 30 minutes ago. Traffic remains slow and stretches along the inshore freeway, 80 westbound out of Albany, just before Buchanan Street. You'll have some stop and go traffic continuing into Henry Village just after Powell. Well, I have a better look at the road for you coming back at 6:58 on traffic. Beer 39. <laughs> Guys, tonight light breeze with temperatures in the 50s. But speaking of winds, the uh, PG&E Emergency Operations Center has announced that it has begun preparing for potential power safety power shutoffs in uh, North Bay and Santa Cruz Mountains later this week. You can read more about that now at kcbsradio.com. We'll be looking at warmer temperatures. We'll have uh, uh, Big Mac tomorrow, yeah. and then Tuesday Big Mac. Friday are warming French fries. Too. A little bit warmer each day of the week <laughs> until we reach the weekend with highs in the upper 70s to lower and mid 90s. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th on All News 106.9 and AM 740 KCBS. Oh, Amelia Pereira is at the editor's desk. Well, you can't go to a concert right now because of the pandemic, oh, but what if a concert came to you? KCBS reporter Melissa Colross has details on how some Bay Area artists and a local promoter are oh, keeping live like music forward. alive. I know. In the area. Bigan, nandito kami sa Peter Mansuar, San Francisco. Go. Are you tired of it? Yeah. Ito ang PR 39, mga kaibigan. Hanggang doon. Dito sa San Francisco. Madalang na lang ang tao, hindi katulad kung no, before pandemic, talagang napangarami ng tao rito. Doon yung Alcatraz. Okay. Pwede ka maglakad hanggang doon, sa dulo nun. Ganito ang itsura pag uh, hapon. Ito mga kaibigan, nagdo-drawing ito.
The Bible calls it glory to glory. It's a mountain that we keep on climbing. But if you want to actually go to the next level, maybe you've got sin in your life like I did. I called myself a Christian when I was, I met my, my boyfriend when I was uh, 32 years old. I called him the love of my life, okay? And on my second date, I said, you know what? I just want to let you know I'm really jacked up. I'm a Christian. I think homosexuality is wrong. And he said, oh, you know what? I'm Jewish. I think homosexuality is wrong as well. Now, the point about this statement is that even in that, the thought process in my mind is that I'm not going to be done because uh, San Francisco. At least I just found this homosexual being that believes that what we're doing is wrong. I had to find that. Madalang na ang tao before ng pandemic. Napakarami talaga ang tao dito parati. Umihisi na dela doon eh. Punta sila sa restroom. Taas? Nasa baba. Pumasok sila doon. Siguro antayin natin sila dito. Yan. Kung pupunta ka ng Alcatraz, pwede ka bumili ng ticket din doon sa gift shop. Ganito na ang itsura dito mga kaibigan sa Pier 39 dahil gabi na. Dati-dati lahat to puno ng tao. Ngayon wala na. Yan lahat dati ito punong-puno ng tao ng lalakad sa so, ngayon wala na pero at least doon may mga bukas na kainan dito lang yung matao na parte ah. October 12 nga pala ngayon 
Or more like because when I was thinking right now, I don't know, I got the idea ang langsa dito mga kaibigan kasi dito yung mga seals Alright Shannon. <laughs> That's cool. That's funny. It was funny. <laughs> Stricken from this year's calendar, other large event organizers are adjusting.
Music producer David Fisher. Oh, Harrison. Oh, Harrison. Bell Harrison. There's a mission. Thanks, Uncle Bob. Yeah, that's a good Student loan? Oh, Check out Star One. Go to Star One.org today. Oh, my name, my goddamn. It's the month to get things done. Silverado 1500. Silverado HD, the strongest piece of dance family of Silverado.